I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore how to solve rational equations. We have a very interesting equation here which is x plus 1 divided by x square minus 4 minus 1 over x. So whenever you begin solving rational expressions, st start with restrictions. That is kind of very important to understand, right? Now restrictions are that the denominator cannot be 0. So x is not equal to 0. That is one part. The second part is x square minus 4 is not 0. So when you say x square minus 4 is not equal to 0, we say x square is not equal to 4 or x is not equal to plus minus square root of 4 which is plus minus 2. So we get the other two that x is not equal to plus minus 2. So we get basically three restrictions for this equation. right? Now let us begin solving this particular solution problem. So we have x plus 1 this and then. So let's take a common factor here. So the common factor is x times x square minus 4 and that means you have to multiply the first term by x. So you get x times x plus 1 minus that should be multiplied by x square minus 4. This is all equal to 0. Remember to put this minus and the term in brackets. If you don't, then you'll make a mistake. So let's continue. So let's expand now the numerator. If we expand the numerator, we get x square plus x minus x square plus 4. So if you would not have put the bracket, you'll get it wrong. And in the denominator, we have x times x square minus 4 equals to 0. Now for this particular equation to be 0, Numerator should be 0. Perfect. In the numerator, x square minus x square is 0. So we are left with x plus 4. So we could write this as x plus 4 equals to x times x square minus 4 equals to 0. Right? So as I said, the numerator should be 0 for the equation to be true. So the condition is that the numerator should be 0. Right? That means x plus 4 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 4. So our solution is that x is equal to minus 4. Also check, it is important always to check your answer. Now minus 4 is not a part of our restriction and therefore that is the correct answer. I hope it helps you to understand the concepts. Thank you and all the best.